Dynamic timing slack has emerged as a promising avenue towards unlocking next generation energy saving in ultra low power embed systems. Dynamic timing slack, or DTS, refers to the portion of the clock period that remains after signals have propagated through the logic. Recent work has shown that adaptive PLLs can be used to stretch or shrink the clock period to fit the amount of available DTS. But the data used by instructions has a significant impact on the amount of timing slack available. Moreover, slight variations in the code can create additional dynamic timing slack. If the compiler has knowledge of how the data impacts the DTS, it can generate code and data layouts that expose more dynamic timing slack for the hardware to exploit and potentially unlock greater energy savings. Leveraging this observation, we designed the first compiler aware of data-dependent DTS. For example, current compilers generate com uh, compare instructions without considering the impact that open order has to the timing slack of the underlying architecture. This leads to low timing slack every time the second open holds a low value. Our compiler instead generates compare instructions by placing the register that is more likely to hold a high value as a second operand, leading therefore to higher timing slack, which translates into energy savings. This is just one optimization our compiler performs. We design others that boost the DTS by changing the layout in memory objects. While these optimizations target DTS, the final step of our compiler is to generate code to change the clock cycle at runtime to squeeze out the timing slack and therefore translating into energy savings. On top of changing the clock cycle at runtime, our architecture detects and fixes timing speculation errors that happen every time the compiler was too aggressive at shrinking the clock period. Our compiler architectural design leads to significant energy savings compared to prior work and this result holds on a variety of workloads. Thank you. We hope to see you at our talk.